Hello, this is Slingshot Warrior, and um, it's Sunday, the Lord's Day. And since Jesus was a carpenter, I've um, I've uh, I bought some tools recently, a while back, from Amazon that um, you might need for in a survival situation, for long-term survival. That is. Um, now, these are some tools that were suggested to me by a guy called Canadian Prepper. Look him up. Mm. Uh, this is a, a crank drill. It's very similar to a power drill, except you. Very similar to a power drill. It, like that. It's just. Not much of a difference. It's, it's a modern version of an old crank drill. Um, it's not a super huge one, but it'll do the job. It's, uh, I got drill bits, um, it's, uh, one of the, um, better of the drills, <laughs> I would say, um, well, I have power drills, but if there's, um, STHF situation where, where there's no electricity, um, and you gotta, like, build something with wood, you know what I mean? Uh, you're gonna need something like this to basically do it with. Old-fashioned tools like this might be indispensable when there's no electricity. Another thing I got for that very same reason was this. A set of chisels. As you can see, I'll take them out. I'll take one of them out. I think I'll take the biggest one out. See, it's a set of chisels. Now, Mike uses a lot of these. Uh, if you're working with wood, this is something you're going to need, especially when there's no power tools. Um, you'll need like a, a rasp and stuff like that. And, but this is something you're going to need. You know, ta ta ta. Old-fashioned tools. Tools that most people don't use anymore. Mm. With the age of electricity, power tools became very popular. But, you never know when the power is going to go out. And those power tools, all those fancy power tools that cut really well, they might not be useful to you anymore. Mm. And um, these kind of tools will be lifesavers. Old fashioned crank drills. I have like a, a battery power drill, but but I, uh, if the power goes out for a long period of time, I can't recharge it. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be invaluable. You know, uh, these tools will be invaluable. And I learned, I bought these at the behalf by learning from Canadian Prepper. A lot of things you can learn from that channel, Canadian Prepper, by the way. But yeah, it's good to have these kind of tools around when if there's no electricity. Um, some old fashioned tools are that our ancestors used might be uh, a net positive in a STHF situation. Well, more on this later. Bye.